guys welcome back to my channel it is Lauren so today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me this actually has been highly requested even though we are still in quarantine so I really don't have anything to get ready for but Will and I are about to be going over to my brother's house and eating dinner over there so I decided that I wanted to look somewhat presentable so I decided to film this and just give you like a little fun get ready with me so I have just recently washed my face and moisturized it but I'm about to be priming it so I'm going to be going in with my Milani prime shield primer and I'm near the end of this oh gosh that just came out all at once and I'm just going to be putting this all over my face if my hands look a different color than my face it is I lost my actual mitt for my self tan so I had to use like a really old one and so like it went really bad on my hands so but my face does not take the tan as well either as my hands so um that is really why my face is like this <laughs> different shade than my hands and my hands are like a different shade than my arm just don't mind that right now it's going to fade in like two days so I use this Milani foundation and I am the 05 a color whenever I have my tan on guys I cannot get it right and not realize that my arm was this different than like my hand that's actually concerning <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Primer. This is definitely a color, which I don't know. It is in the color Sin, and I'm just going to be putting that on my lids and right on my eyebrows so I can do those real quick. Next, I'm going in with this Urban Decay Eyeshadow. This is just what I do to do my brows, and it is in the color Beware. I'm just going to be going in with my Focaler eye pencil and this is just like to get like the ends of my brows and everything that like the eyeshadow really didn't get. Okay, so now to clean up my brows, I'm going to be taking my concealer and I use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear and the color I am is 350 and I'm just going to be taking my concealer brush and basically just like carving out my brows. Okay, so sorry for like this weird setup. This is just my desk area that I have going. I really don't have proper lighting right now. Also, you can probably see like weird shadows right here and that is from my camera. Just because I'm still unpacking from moving out of college just because I've had a lot of work to do and I'm signing up for summer classes and everything is just like really hectic right now. And so my whole entire room is like a complete mess right now. We're slowly but surely making it cute but I can't use natural lighting right now and this is literally the only clean spot I have going. So um, if you can tell the lighting's a little bit different or anything, I sincerely apologize. I really wanted to record this video and I did not have time to get fully ready and clean up a space to film this video except right here. I'm also just using my mirror in my hand and I'm trying not to like block the camera. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my eyes and I'm going to be using a mixture of the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop and then the Folklore Turkey Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to start off in the Disney Palette and just use the color Ray and Prince Charming. They're just these like really pretty highlight colors and use that underneath my brow bone. I'm not a beauty guru, so please don't come for me. Okay, so now that I have this brow highlight done, which you can probably tell, I'm going to stay in the Disney palette and use Triton and Grumpy and like mix them together. They're just a light brown color. One is a little bit darker than the other though. And just put it in my crease. Now I'm going to be going into the turkey palette and what am I going to do? I'm going to use Turkish Delight, which is like a really pretty plum color and put that on my outer corner. Then I'm going to be taking a blending brush and kind of like blending this all in together. I honestly was just not prepared for this video at all. Like it was just kind of like sprung at the moment. Like I'm just going to record this video. Bear with me, please. I feel like I always say that during Get Ready With Me's because I'm just like struggling. Staying in the turkey palette, I'm going to be going into hazelnut, which is just a really dark chocolate color and put that on the very outer corner of my eyes to blend in with that plum color. I also haven't done makeup in such a long time thanks to this quarantine. So like I feel like I've lost my ability to do makeup or something. I don't know how this is looking. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I did one of these. I think it was New Year's Eve. Was that? No, I did a sorority formal one. That was my last get ready with me. You were going to have a different one that was going to be another date party get ready with me, but 
Corona kind of took that away. That's okay. I hope all of you are staying safe. Also, while the corona is happening, a little scary out there. So now I'm going to be doing kind of a cut crease, not really. I just put this concealer on the inside of like my eyelid just to make the color pop a little bit better. I'm going to be using this same concealer, but in a different shade. So this is going to be in 320, which is porcelain. So basically I have this color. Um, I think I just bought the wrong color is why I have this. That is all I use that color for is literally my eyelids since I have it. Next, still in the Tricky palette, I'm going to be using the As Av Avsva Island. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but it's like this really pink champagne kind of color. And that is what I'm going to be using on the inside of like my lid or like, I guess my lid color. I don't really know. Okay, so I like the way that this is looking right now, but I want it to be like a little bit more sparkly in the middle. So I'm going to be doing the Cotton Palace, which is really, really like glittery. And sometimes it has like a really bad fallout, but we're just like going for it today. Okay, so fun fact, I have eczema and I've had that for literally, I think since I was like two. Anyways, it is now like on the inside of my eyelid and that is actually something that I get there all the time. Don't really know why that's a thing but it is like making my eye shadow look weird like in this inner corner and it's kind of upsetting. That is my eyeshadow. I'm just going to be cleaning it up like a little bit with that L'Oreal concealer that I showed you before and then just blending that out and then also covering up my problematic spots, which I have a few breakouts here and there. I don't really know if they're showing up on camera, but they're definitely showing up in real life. Oh, my beauty blender fell on the floor. I have concealer hands. going to be going in with this hard candy bake brighten and set loose finishing powder and i'm just going to be putting that underneath my eyes on my chin and then right on my like forehead now i'm going to powder up my whole face using the rimmel stay matte powder and i'm in the color 003 natural with this candle behind me i feel like every time i move my hair my hair is gonna start on fire. Like, I really hope that doesn't happen. So next, I'm going to be contouring my face and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Now, this is getting a little bit old, as you can see, but I'm just going to be mixing these two colors because that's all I have left. It is time for blush. I'm going to be using this from The Balm and it is the color Lace. This is a really hot pink color, but it is what shows up best on my skin. Like some other ones just like don't really look good. I don't know. I need to find a better blush. Comment down below your favorite blush and blush color, please. I'm also going to be going over my nose a little bit just because I want to have like a little rosy nose. I don't know. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting a little bit of eyeshadow right underneath my eyes. I'm going to be going into the turkey palette and going back in with the hazelnut color, which was the dark chocolate, and go right underneath my eye. So once that is underneath my eye, I'm going back in with the Disney Designer palette and using the color Prince Charming right on the inside of my eye. So now I'm going to be setting my face before I do my mascara and a highlighter. So I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I just got this travel size from Target the other day just to see if I like it. And I absolutely love it. I can really tell a difference within my makeup whenever I use this. I feel like my highlighter goes on better if I go ahead and spray it. And while my face is still dewy, apply my highlighter. So I use the Lorac color in Starlight. I just got this on sale at some store. I don't even know. And then I have my fan brush to apply it. So I'm just going to be showing you these products doing it real quick so the only thing I have left now is my mascara so I'm just going to be curling my lashes this is just a regular eyelash curler that I got at TJ Maxx a few months ago and then I'm going to be using the Maybelline lash sensational mascara <laughs> 
Okay, so I just curled my lashes. I'm about to be going in with my mascara, but I'm going to be doing that off of camera just so I can have like the mirror right up to my face and I can actually like see my eyelashes. And then I'm also going to be applying some lipstick as well, which I'm also going to be doing off camera, but I will let you know the color that I decide to go with. And I will see you once my makeup is all finished. Okay, so my makeup is all finished. Put on my mascara and my lipstick. I decided to go with this. I think this is from CoverGirl. It looks like it is. It is just the Jumbo Gloss balm it is like all faded on here so i don't even feel like i need to show you because you probably can't find this anywhere anyways um it's in the color 290 if these are even still a thing this is super duper old i also just got dressed which i'll show you better just a little bit later but i'm about to be doing my hair duval actually gifted me another straightener for me to share with you guys and my very own personal coupon code that you can use at checkout so that is what i'm going to be using today i absolutely love it i have been using it for the past couple days it is absolutely amazing i'm always looking for really great hair products and this is definitely one one of them. My coupon code works for anything on their website, so be sure to click that link down below and shop the Duval website. Well guys, that is the end of my get ready with me. I decided just to straighten my hair. Now my hair was pretty straight before, but I did have like some waves in it from the night before, so I just went ahead and freshened that up with my Duval hair straightener. Guys, it literally feels like just silk, like whenever like you're putting it on your hair. Like you know how some hair straighteners can like feel like kind of gritty whenever it's going across your hair? This feels absolutely amazing. I will definitely be linking it down below for you guys. Also, my dog just tore her ACL and so I have like a little spot for her right next to my desk. She has been on some pain medicine before we can get her in for surgery and she just likes being right next to me like at all times. I have her like whole little setup like right over here too so um that also is kind of putting a damper on where I can film. Hopefully I will have all this cleaned up very soon though so let's hope and pray for that. Please pray that I get some motivation to get this cleaned up. Accessory wise I have on this headband that I had on earlier. I actually got this from TJ Maxx. I love this have been so much. I will be linking one similar that I found on Amazon for you guys because you guys have been going crazy over some headbands that I've been wearing. I got these earrings from Solera Boutique and Tanning. This plain pearl necklace and then just like some easy bracelets. This shirt is actually two tiers. As you can see, I kind of just tucked in the first one. But this black tank is from Highland Avenue. I will also be linking this down below. And then this is like some cover-up type thing, if you can kind of tell. I'm so sorry I can't fully show you my outfit just because I really don't have the means of that because of how my room is looking like it is absolutely atrocious but this is kind of like a cover-up type really slouchy really comfortable thing these blue shorts are from bishop and young these shorts are so comfortable and part of the reason why i put them on this is so cringy but i have on these these platform sandals. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!